we are building up the black and brown community. Workers at the new Florida majority are on a mission to register new voters, but not just anyone. This organization targets Miami's marginalized constituencies with the aim of giving the city's diverse population a voice. We're in the community to see if people need to register to vote. So far, they've managed to sign up a thousand new voters. Their aim is to hit 5,000, and organizers say it's vital work. What happens in Florida determines the future of the country, and uh, we are very aware of that. We have gone through all the traumatic experiences of elections in Florida before. We are very aware of how important it is that we make sure our votes are counted and our voices are counted. Miami has large black and Hispanic communities that are steadily growing, influencing and changing the political landscape. In essence, this city, like much of the state, is a melting pot of ethnicity, religion and political diversity. I think it's going to be a brokered convention. Politics professor Joseph Huzinski says that's what makes the Sunshine State so important. You have sort of a microcosm of the entire country right here. And Florida's been a battleground state in the last several presidential elections particularly if you look at 2000. So how Florida goes, the rest of the country goes. So that's Miami, but just to show you how truly diverse this state is, we've traveled a thousand kilometers north into a different time zone to the Florida Panhandle, a place the locals refer to as the Redneck Riviera. The seaside city of Pensacola couldn't be more different from Miami. It's solidly Republican, part of the Bible Belt, and according to local businessman Collier Merrill, unlikely to change anytime soon. You know, when you look at the panhandle, what you're looking at is a very conservative. We're, we're 10 minutes away from, the, from Alabama. Uh, Georgia's just to the north of us, but it's a very conservative voter. Uh, half of them have military roots and uh, a very religious voter. Those in Pensacola and the panhandle of Florida may place greater faith in the Republican Party. who will win one of the U.S.'s most diverse states is never entirely predictable. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Pensacola, Florida.